Luke, Tom, and Nate here at the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel. And today we're at Miller's Landing, just a little south of Seward, Alaska. And we're about to get on this boat to go out there. We're gonna be camping and fishing, exploring for a couple days. Miller's Landing is one of several water taxis here in Seward. And they'll take you, your kayaks, your gear, whatever, drop you off various locations around the bay. And uh, it's really affordable way to get out and explore kind of off the grid out in the wilderness areas in Prince William Sound and Resurrection Bay. And that's exactly what we're gonna be doing today. So, so Tom, you're on whale watching duty? Mm-hmm. Captain oh. told me that. Oh, that's pretty cool, man. A couple weeks ago, me and Nate took a water taxi out to Kane's Head to explore a secret underground World War II abandoned army base. Did a video on that. We'll put a link in the description below. Thank you. Nathan, can I give you the fishing rods? Okay, you got those? All right, good to go, you got everything? Oh. All right, thanks guys. <laughs> there goes our boat, man, that's our ride home. You think we're gonna be okay? Yeah. Let's go find a spot. All right, we're here on Fox Island in Resurrection Bay in Prince William Sound in Alaska. We are really in it. This island is steep and rugged and just full of mountains and cliffs like that. And there's a little spit of land that goes out in the ocean. And uh, that's where we're gonna see if we can't camp and maybe catch some fish. Look at this. Oh yeah, big old jellyfish. All right guys, shall we explore a little bit? Yeah. Let's see what's on this island. That's one of those tiger striped ones. Look at that one. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a, it's a funky type of seaweed. Look at that. I've seen this before. Not sure what it's called, but it's creepy looking. Rotten bull kelp bulb. That's a fish? No, that's a bulb on a, on a piece of kelp. This is a piece of bull kelp. It's all rotten. Yeah. But when it's not rotten, you can eat it. But you see, it's got a big, it's got the roots and the big bulb. And then on the end is a ball that makes it float up in the, in the water. And it gets long. It gets really long. That's a small one. Just saw a fish jump out of the water right there. Oh, you guys found another jellyfish? Well, there's one. Oh, here's a jellyfish here. Oh, look. oh, this is the biggest one we've ever seen. Look at this sucker. He's huge. It even has tentacles underneath. Yeah, look at that. That's they flip it over. Oh. Oh, you can... Yeah, he looks pretty dead, doesn't he? <laughs> hey guys, look at this. This is the egg of a giant skate. These things get like five, six feet across, but they're full grown. Careful, they'll sting you. That live one? Look at that. That's probably yeah. a live one. Yeah, leave him alone. He might be alive. Do I? Yeah, look at him. See, see, look how he's going. Woo, woo. Swim, okay. little guy, swim. It's another, this is another egg. Is that... Daddy swim. Uh, yeah. Oh, what is that? It looks like a baby hooligan. The ocean's right over there on the other side of that berm. And there's this big, huge tidal pool right here. This whole thing. Unless it's a... Oh, let's see. This is the skeleton of a sea urchin. All the spines are falling off. That's cool. And that nail inside the ball makes the ball Well, this is a place we could build a, 
build a fire and put a tent. All right, guys, we'll get a fire started and the camp put up, and then uh, we'll do a little fishing here. See if we can't catch maybe a halibut or something. Well guys, what do you think? Is this a nice little place to get out of the rain? Here you guys go. Oh yeah, leftover from last night. Me and mommy went on a date to Texas Roadhouse last night. Oh, that's cold, that's freezing. We just need a fire now, don't we? Yeah. All right, let's see if daddy can build a fire in this rain. It's been raining here for four days straight, so everything is soaking wet. So I'm gonna bust out all my mad skills here to see if I can build a fire in this rain. Oh, all right. The inside's pretty dry, so let's uh, get some of these limbs. Nathan, you gathering water? Yeah. That'll be good for your cup of noodle. When everything is wet like this, it really pays off to be able to split some logs. This log is soggy and rotten on the outside, but dry as a bone on the inside. So if we can split that, we can get to dry wood. We just gotta make sure our wood doesn't get wet in between the time we split it and catch it on fire. So we're gonna split it and immediately stack it under the tarp. Here, pick that up and put it under the tarp, buddy. Good job, buddy. Come here. Boy, can you pile this with the other dry firewood? Here. Hold that. Well, the rain has stopped for just a second or two, so I'm going to try to build the fire now, and hopefully we have enough kindling. All right, we're going to put some uh, shredded up jute inside these wood shavings. There, there we go. <laughs> nice reference, Tom. Here, just give me a second, buddy. Because everything's wet, everything has to dry out before it can light up. So you pile up your wood around your fire close and let it dry out. Unfortunately, when you pile up this much wood, you start to smother the fire. So you need to put blow on it a lot and fan it. Little bits of plastic like this nylon fishing rope, though, can be a good fire starter in wet conditions because that'll melt and burn for a long, long time. Well, it started to rain again, and I want to protect my fire a little bit. So I'm going to build an awning for my fire. Got a little bit of a rain awning over our fire to keep the rain from putting it out. I think it's time to start fishing. I would love nothing more to catch a big fat halibut or a rockfish or frankly anything I'd be excited. Supposedly there is a shipwrecked barge within casting distance over there. We're going to see if we can't fish around that. Made a little dropper loop with some 60 pound mono, put a big old four-aught circle hook on it. We're gonna check that out there. Got some herring here. When you're casting long distances, your bait can get messed up. So I'm gonna use this little bait button here. Basically you slide that onto the point 
and you put it just like that keeps things where they should be the bait won't fly off the hook as easy oh that's deep that was falling for a long time All right, got two rods out. One of them's bombed way out there and the silver one's a lot closer. I don't know if we need to be out all that far. I'm seeing herring jump, you know, within a rock throw distance of the shore. So, I mean, we'll just see what happens. There you go. I caught it. Oh, that's warm. Whoop. There you go. Guys, what do you think? Are you having a good camp out so far? Yeah. What's in my tea kettle? I'm making a lot of Kool-Aid. Wait a minute. What's in my bottle? It's more Kool-Aid. <laughs> Let me see your fingers. Ah! Son, I think you may have a Kool-Aid problem. Well, we got a little break in the rain, so I think we'd better set up the tent. A little bit of a level spot that isn't covered in rocks. <laughs> Have you guys gotten into the Kool-Aid mix? Let me see your hands, Nathan. Oh my goodness. You guys are just like spooning it out like little drug addicts. Okay, no more Kool-Aid, no more Kool-Aid. What you got there, Nate? Ramen noodles. You like cup of noodle? Yeah, uh, my favorite. Well, my rods have been in the water for a couple hours now and I keep checking my baits and untouched, not even crab marks. So that's a little disconcerting. So I'm trying to recast in different spots and see if maybe I can find like a little reef or something or a seaweed bed where maybe there's some fish. All right, we're gonna make Sapporo Ichiban. We're gonna make tonkatsu ramen, man. Well, we got all the firewood chopped and dinner finished and the weather actually is half decent. So we're going to walk the beach and do a little beach combing all the way to the end of the spit. Don't get it off and eat Dude, it. that's a pretty good, good looking Mekon. We could totally wash it off and eat it. And those I think we could. It feels perfect. Hmm. It's a sea Mekon. Yeah, that's a bone. Look at that. I thought that was a barnacle. No, that's a bone. Oh, jellyfish? That's cool. Look at this. Look at those mountains, aren't those something? This island is called Fox Island, and it's called Fox Island because about 120 years ago, a guy let a whole bunch of foxes loose on the island to try to raise him. What he'd do is just let them be free range, and he had a big pen where he'd dump all their food every day. And the foxes would get used to coming there for the food. And when it came time to harvest them, He'd skip a few feedings, and when they were nice and hungry, he'd dump a bunch of food in the pen, and then shut the door, and there you go. Oh, oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. He has all these tentacles. Yeah. This is nice. I say we go get our sleeping bags, and Matt's all pumped up and ready to go, shall we? Devil. Oh. Man, look at this view. This weather's really turned a corner. Your transformer? What, what do you got on your sleeve? Show me, show me. These are my guns. Oh, I see. You. Those are your guns, huh? I, I, 
I think this looks a little bit like one of my tent pegs. All right, guys, it's bedtime. Well, check it out. I got the boys a uh, new air mattress. I got the Thermarest uh, Neo Air Uber Lights. And uh, do you guys like that? Yeah. This is my favorite kind of mattress ever. It's so puffy. Yeah. So yeah, and they're, they're so kid cool. size. I mean, this one's a little short for Tommy, but it's I the perfect right size here. for Nate. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's a, your, your feet barely hang off, but that's not a big deal. Well, the boys are in bed and uh, I'm straightening up and doing some dishes. And, uh, yeah, just having a great day. Well, good morning. According to my phone, this is six mile per hour winds and 50 degree weather. Neither one of those things are true. <laughs> it's cold and windy right now. The boys have gone deep. Buried real deep. Yeah, it's windy. All right, I need to get things ready for the boys. I need to build a different type of shelter. The wind's the problem today, not the rain. I'm just gonna make some hot chocolate and breakfast. It'll take a little while for the pancakes to get ready. You want me to just come back here and let you know when they're ready? Okay, I will. All right guys, I'm gonna show you something that's really important if you're gonna get into wilderness foraging. Check this out. This right here is a plant called yarrow. It's a medicinal herb and a seasoning and perfectly fine to eat. This right here is water hemlock and it's one of the most poisonous plants in Alaska. This can kill you. Here's the yarrow, here's the water hemlock. Side by side, dang, that's close, isn't it? The way you tell is the leaves. Yarrow has these light feathery leaves. Water hemlock looks like carrot. Here's another example of water hemlock. You can see how it's usually, there's multiple buds on one branch. Yarrow doesn't do that. Both water hemlock and yarrow are both kind of fragrant and aromatic, okay? But they smell different. Yarrow smells a little bit more like medicine and water hemlock smells like fresh cut celery. But it's, it's close. If you don't know what you're doing, it's a real easy plant to get confused. in the tent you guys hang out here for a little bit Woo. this wind is cold and aggressive so I got the boys just hanging out in the tent so that they aren't miserable but I gotta start packing up here the boats gonna pick us up in a little bit 
and uh, it might take a little while to get everything done with this wind. So, better get started. Listen, we guys, we had a great time. Did you guys have fun? Yeah! If you want to see more videos from the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, don't forget to click subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday morning. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next Saturday. If you like this video, don't forget to check out the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos just like this. And don't forget to click subscribe so you can see other great videos every Saturday morning. And hit that bell button and you'll get notifications. Thanks for watching.